Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you are having a problem with Windows not being able to print due to a problem with the current printer setup. So this can definitely be an annoying issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. And we're going to begin by opening up the Start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best results should come back with registry editor listed directly above app. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now before you begin the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, again, it's very simple. We're just going to go ahead and select the file tab and then export. File name, I normally recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to all and save it to an easily accessible location on your computer. And then once that's done, if you ever need to import it back in, you just would select file and then import and navigate to the file location, like I said. So pretty straightforward process. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK current user folder. So I'm going to expand this a little bit. So you can see we have the HK current user. Go ahead and double click on that. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. Scroll down until you get to Windows NT. Go ahead and double click on that. So and once you've expanded Windows NT, do the same thing for current version. And then finally, there should be a Windows folder in here. Just go ahead and left click on that one time. Now that we are in here, you want to go right click on this Windows folder and select permissions. Now in this window here, you want to go select the add button and into this field, you want to type in everyone. Select check names and once that's done, select OK. And then you want to check mark the box where it says full control allow. And then once that is done there, you want to go select apply and OK to save the change. And at this point, we can go ahead and collapse out of the registry editor here. I would suggest restarting your computer at this time as well. So go ahead and restart your computer. And once your computer has restarted, we're going to open up the start menu, type in services. Best match to go back with services listed directly above app. Go ahead and left click on that. Locate the print spooler service. So you might have to go down a little bit, but it shouldn't have to be too far here. And go ahead and double click on it. Once the print spooler service is opened here, you want to go make sure service as is running. If it's stopped, you want to select the start button and then startup type again so that's automatic. Select apply and OK to save the change for that. What to just restart your computer as well as also restarting your printer as well to so do both. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.